you might be wondering about a low cost and stress-free way to handle crop residue. I'm Justin Hitt with Prosperity Homestead. I'm gonna show you a simple way that I handle crop residue. I basically get myself worked up seeing all the damage deer do even though I got two fences up. And I get myself a stick and I see things like this and I say, you damn deer messing stuff up. And I basically just hit it with a stick and I break up the crop residue. I first let it dry out. See that over there? First let it dry out. These are different types of wildflowers. I've already done a little bit to get uh, collect seeds. I'm done collecting seeds and now I'm just whooping ass. I'm just knocking down some plants. So I'm not gonna walk out on the bed. I'm gonna use a stick and I'm kind of thrashing, thrashing it. And you see how it's breaking stuff up? Okay, there's a method to the madness. The end of the stick is what hits things. I just basically bash and bash and bash. And I'm keeping the shadow in the video because that's part of the technique. Come over here, just bash, bash, bash. I say, damn deer, damn deer. Why are you always messing up my garden? Now I stay away from that stuff, that's edible. And I, I just bust up that crop residue. I see that over there, look at that. I just beat it with a stick. That's right, you just beat it down into smaller parts. I see something looks a little too, just slap it with a stick. Slap it with a stick. Now two things are happening right now. First, I'm breaking up the smaller parts. Second, I'm dispersing seed. Third, I'm tenderizing the soil. So I'm over here, I'm gonna smack that with a stick. This is a special permaculture technique. I'm beating it with a stick. Now these are actually angel trumpets. I'm not as excited about them staying around next year. Okay, so I just got that piece, you know, it's not going. I'm not as excited about the angel trumpets next year because they have these spiky, sp spiky little sticks, but I like them and they're poisonous. So I will, uh, when I start seeing them come up, I'll actually uh, dig some of those out and plant them somewhere else. We do a lot of transplanting, which some th things come up naturally. Um, but again, most of this stuff, I'm not tearing stuff out of the ground. And I'm not tearing it out of the ground because I, I throw layers of material in on top of this stuff. There's already some perennial uh, flowers in there. There's already a seed bank going on. I simply just gonna break things up. And, and just keep the bed nice and tenderized, nice and tenderized. No, just keep the bed uh, clean. So like all the marigolds down on the end here. Oh, I beat that with a stick earlier. See, look at that. I beat it with a stick. It's no, no different than getting trampled by the deer, except the deer eat the wrong stuff and trample the wrong stuff. I need them to get out there and trample the stuff I want trampled. Okay, now I could do that with that asparagus right there. I'll have to move that fence. I don't want to mess my fence up. So, oh, here you go. Here's some basil and some marigolds are in this little corner. I've already picked the marigold seeds. I tried to get some of the basil seed. Guess what happens to the rest? Now, if this was rosemary, it might come back next year. But it's basil. The basil doesn't tend to come back. So I'm just going to beat that down kind of slash it I'm kind of slashing it down now again oh, I'm not even got the camera focus you aren't seeing the best of the action here so basically I beat all that residual down and then I'll throw some stuff over top of it later if I have it if I don't I won't worry about it but there were a bunch of marigolds out here I already got seeds for those oh that's a, oh, what I see some right here looks like an old it looks like an old, or a dead, frozen dead eggplant. Look at that. Just two swipes, it's done. Now things like eggplants may or may not come back next year. They're not quite perennial, but you can see we don't dig up anything by root. There's an old pepper plant right there by its root. It's running right on its own. I don't need to do anything with that. These sticks gonna need a little more cutting. Oh, never mind. That one takes a beating. Okay, now again, again, I left them out in the winter to get all dried out. And so we just beat it down, tenderize that soil. I do hope to think, you know, this is a parody, 
but I do actually go through and just swat the plants and knock them down if they're if they're into season and they've been uh, rotted out pretty good and that just gives me a layer of brush and more basically more carbon materials on the beds and then when we have grasses we have straw when we have actually there's straw over here when we have brush see the brush put the brush in a brush pile I beat the brush in a brush pile it all breaks it down into small pieces it works out some frustration from the deer and ultimately gives you permanent raised beds that are very easy to maintain that are full of abundance that refresh themselves every year in fact click the link below and request information I've got a video on how these beds were made I've got a video on and some instruction on how you main, you put something like this together and how you maintain it oh and how you get your system in place that's an okra right oh. 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 see the deer actually rubbed on that one it's also practice your gung fu there we go I'll put that over here somewhere oh yeah that's not right there you could just beat off in the garden all day <laughs> I'm just in hit with prosperity homestead now I'm getting ridiculous Get rid of your stick. There we go. I'll break up those fibers. I'm a permaculture design consultant. Have a little fun in the garden here while I'm just pedaling around. Thanks for watching. Click the link below to learn more about permanent raised bed gardens, how to garden on contours and uh, sloped areas, and some insider tips on how you can have greens and other types of vegetables pretty much year round using holistic methods. To build the soil and build your health. Thanks for watching.